we are here for dinner. This is called Liu He Ye Si. It's supposed to call Liu He International Night Market. So these are the night market that is for tourists. And then uh, the reason why I we like it because that most of the local night market for the residents they have a lot of international cuisine. But this night market we just walk around before. That uh, then we decide to show you a little bit more, and uh, they do have a little bit of item that we had not seen in some of the places. So uh, be careful. These are the place that the motorbike is still able to come inside. We need, just now we witnessed someone nearly die in front of us. That the old lady just crossed the road without checking the side, and oh, this car gonna be in trouble. So yeah, you still have to be very careful when you are in this night market. So most of the time, uh, it will be fully closed right at the front. Check, check, check. <laughs> right at the front over there is fully closed, but you can uh, maybe park your motorbike here. Everyone do that. So the local do that. We will try to find, uh, show you something that we have not seen in other night market. This is one of the item that we want to try. We have been to Kenting. So most of the Kenting they will use a uh, pork intensive to wrap the spring onion. But this store is like quite unique. He used the uh, pork slices, big, big, big slices of the pork to uh, wrap with the spring onion. Then uh, one row is $150 and they will roll again and then cut it for you. And uh, this store has got the copyright. So I believe that this must be a very good and tasty spring onion barbecue. They have a lot of the spices over here, cumin and spices, mustard and pepper salt. They are, we are ordering this one, the special 13 spices. They also have the grapefruit, grapefruit salt and some cheese salt. So now we're going to grill it, there's more char and then going to add on some uh, teriyaki sauce and the sesame. Then we'll add on the 13 spices for me. The night market is very long. You have to cross the road and go over there. So this is where we see someone like nearly crushed by the motorbike. So and uh, this is the only night market they are selling this uh, better seat. Uh, if you smoke and uh, maybe you will love to uh, appreciate the better seat. It's quite addictive. Now we are walking slightly further down. Uh, we remember that we saw something quite unique downstairs. We are going to have one of the items there, then uh, the rest is almost the same in almost every night market. This is one of the items that we never see in other uh, night market, which is a fried eel noodle. So we're going to have it right over here. They have the uh, frog soup, they have a uh, fried frog and the uh, fried squid and the uh, eel. So this is how the eel looks like. So if you love the Japanese uh, dish called, what they call, unagi, and then this is the eel. And uh, frog they cover up here. Then this is a uh, squid, looks very fresh. You can choose a uh, thin noodle and the uh, imen is right over there. This is the imen with the eel. eel. Uh, let me give you a try. Don't eat. I say eel. Um, tastes average. This is a item that uh, we have not tried. It's called saltwater yimen, yin sui yimen. And uh, Sean is going to order the yu pi tang with uh, fish skin soup. So this store looks like this. I think the yin sui yimen should be that one. So we are going inside to order and uh, enjoy this. This is the uh, fish skin soup. I think it's just like uh, si bak hu, if I'm not wrong. Then we have the sauce like this with the wasabi. And this is my Xian Sui Yi Men with the braised pork. And the next one we are going to try will be the peanut dumpling. And they also have the four god <laughs> soup. Oh, okay. So the four god soup. <laughs> okay, four god soup and the peanut dumpling. Uh, we're going to sit in the store like this. For the peanut dumpling, it's $40 and the soup is $40 as well. They do have miso soup, but it's just like not impressive to me. So these are the dumpling. I'm not sure it's a roasted pork dumpling or the peanut dumpling. Oh, so that's the one in the steam uh, pot. It will be the peanut dumpling. This is a peanut dumpling. It's a grounded peanut and a whole peanut. And this is the four god soup. <laughs> and it has the pot intensive. I don't think they put this one though. Okay, he will put this. Uh, I don't think they put coriander, but Sean wanted it. Usually they put the rice wine. We are in the 7-Eleven and then uh, you can have a draft beer right over here. Just right at the Liu He Ye Shi. They also can make the cocktail for you and the cashier is damn amazing that you have to uh, receive payment. 
she had to do a lot of things and she had to make cocktail. And she really make a perfect beer, so you get like at least one inch of the foam to enjoy the beer. Cheers! It's actually made in Taiwan. Mm. So it's a German style Taiwanese beer. It's very nice, very smooth. So I strongly recommend you to come over here to take uh, this beer, to go to Liu He Yi to enjoy your food. They'll be perfect match.